Tonight, another family claims Warren Durham hurt another student at Vance County Middle School the very same day. CBS 17 has live team coverage from Henderson. Colleen Quigley now spoke to the second family about what they say happened to this second student. Colleen. Yeah, Russ and Maria's 12-year-old Maitasia is a sixth grader at that very same school. She told me, told me that an encounter with that same SRO left her with a dislocated shoulder and whiplash. Now, so far, we have not seen any video of this alleged incident, but we did learn today through the district attorney that the Vance County Sheriff is investigating Maitasia's claim preliminarily. Now, she told me that at school on Thursday, she was walking in the hallway just after lunch with her class when that SRO told her she was walking too slow. Now, Maitasia admits that she did talk back to the SRO, but she says he got in her face, and that's when things started to escalate. She actually called her mom on her cell phone, and Maitasia says she tried to walk past the SRO. He continued to yell at her, and that's when, she tells me, he grabbed her by the shoulder and threw her into a locker. I hear her scream and say, um, you hurting me, uh, why did you do this? You know, you pulling my hair and you know, then I heard a man voice saying, I do what I want to do. You got too much mouth and you think you grown. I have nightmares that he been like flashes of his face. I'm, I'm scared to be around police officers. Now, 12-year-old Maitasia is suspended from school. Her mom tells me that's because the principal said she was talking back too much to that SRO. Uh, again, her mother did file that formal complaint with the sheriff's office yesterday. Again, we know they're investigating. So far, no video surfacing of this incident, which the family claims happened just hours before that other little boy was assaulted by that same school resource officer. Reporting live in Vance County, Colleen Quigley, CBS 17 News.